welcome back to Fire TV, the official Gus G and Firewind YouTube channel. That is me and my band. So hope you all doing well. Hope you all enjoying the summer. Um, well, you probably might be wondering before we begin. I'm going to talk about this guitar, but you might be wondering why is Gus wearing a purple shirt? Um, actually, this is a shirt. It's a Black Sabbath Born Again shirt <laughs> that I got on tour. It's obviously a bootleg shirt <laughs> that I got, uh, I think, in South America, in El Salvador, when Firewind was touring there. So I wanted a souvenir, and some guys were selling some bootleg shirts, so I picked myself uh, one up. That's about the shirt. Now, this is the guitar that a lot of you have been uh, asking me about. Um, you wanted me to um, tell you a little bit about it. There's a certain story about this guitar. This is a Fender Stratocaster, okay? A 1961 uh, Fiesta Red reissue, uh, and it's a tribute to Gary Moore. It's Gary Moore's 196, it's based off of uh, Gary Moore's 1961 Fiesta Red guitar. That's what it is. Uh, this one came out about five or six years ago, and uh, only 60 of them were made in the world and I'm very proud owner of one of those 60 guitars um, obviously it's reliced exactly to the, the way Gary had you know the exact battle scars that Gary had on his guitars on his guitar I mean look at this uh, master builder John Cruz made this it's it sounds incredible it plays incredible and there's a certain vibe about this guitar once you pick it up. Uh, okay, so the story about this guitar is like this. Back in 2016, I was in California uh, at Fender's Corona factory, and uh, I was working together with the people of Jackson. Jackson is owned by Fender Corporation, of course. Um, and we were discussing about my uh, upcoming signature models. I had just started working with the guys. And, um, you know, we had just built some prototypes. They had built some prototypes for me, and I was there to check them out. And, you know, we can make changes and see what we're going to keep, what we're going to change and all that. So, you know, we're having a lunch break, and somebody goes, Hey, you're taking photos today of the Gary Moore guitar next door. And I go, What? What Gary Moore guitar? They're like, Oh, well, you didn't hear this. Yeah, I'm like, well, I just heard it. So <laughs> what Gary Moore guitar are you guys talking about? Gary played Les Pauls primarily. And they're like, well, ah, th th this is a secret project. It's, it's coming out. And I'm like, well, I'm not leaving until you guys tell me what this is all about. So anyways, you know, we sneak into the next room with my NR guy and the, and the production team. And we sneak into a couple of doors, you know, next. And... Um, yeah, lo and behold, they are taking photos of this guitar. Um, and they're basically telling me, yeah, we're going to make a, a Gary Moore tribute, just like they did, you know, with the Steve Ray Vaughan guitar, whatever, other guitars. And, you know, John Cruz made these, and there's only 60 of them made. And, uh, and I've, obviously at that point, I'm just freaking out. And I'm like, guys, I got to have one. How can we make that happen? I'll pay whatever it is. And like, yeah, yeah, it's not that easy. Uh, maybe we'll see. I'm like, well, whenever you release it, I, I, I need to have one. You know, just let me know about this. And um, I mean, I saw the guitar and fell in love with it right away. You know, this is a guitar that Gary used to use in the 80s in his hard rock years. Um, yeah, I mean, it comes also with a flight case that has Gary's logo and everything. And, you know, they've done everything from, you know, even the his DiMarzio strap. It's it's just like identical, man. It's, it's amazing, you know. Um, anyway, so I go back home after this meeting and, you know, I just keep bugging them. I'm like, guys, you know, I got to get a, one of these Gary Moore guitars. Believe me, I've never asked for a guitar that bad. I don't really ask for guitars from, from uh, companies. I, I don't collect them really. You see, I have a lot of guitars in the background, but these are primarily just prototypes and guitars that I've tried out just in order to create my own final versions of my signature models um so eventually you know 
the guys surprised me one day and they said, you know, here's the guitar and we'll throw in to your deal a Gary Moore guitar. So the, they were very nice enough to just give me one of these. Um, I know you're probably going to hate me for just saying this, but yeah, there you go. I did it. Fender gave me one of those and it's one of the highest honors I've ever had in my career as a guitar player to receive such a special guitar from the people at Fender. Um, and I love this guitar, man. I love it. it. It plays, you know, it sounds, it has that kind of like Jimi Hendrix sound, you know, so um, I've made a couple of riffs on it and um, I've recorded with it on my albums. I don't dare taking it out on tour, of course. This just stays at home uh, and in my studio. And uh, it's just an incredible instrument. It's incredible. You know, I grew up on Strat, so um, this just is very, very special to me. And um, yeah, I think there's a little bit of uh, Gary's vibe and spirit in this. I don't know. It, it feels like that. It certainly feels like that. But, you know, John Cruz has done an incredible job at relicking this. I mean, look, even like the paint job here, you see, I think that original guitar was a different color or something. Um, there's a certain story to that guitar, I'm sure. You can find out more online by Googling it. But yeah, there you have it. That's the story of how I got to acquire one of these uh, Fiesta Red Strats. And I enjoy playing it, and I've been going to go back and do some recording with it now. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, let me know if you're enjoying these videos. You know, Drop me a comment, You know, subscribe, and uh, do all those good things, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.